We're here in Pensacola. We're about to catch a flight down to Fort Lauderdale. We're going to South Florida for the weekend to go fishing. I can't wait. They should be biting. Hopefully, hopefully we can catch some biggins. I think I got a good feeling. I got a good feeling. It's November in Florida, specifically South Florida. I got a good feeling. It's always a good time. Let's get straight to it. No trespassing, no fishing. I'm not fishing here, sir. I'm catching. <laughs> I'm not fishing, I'm catching. Large mouth. Large mouth buffooning. <laughs> Look at the buffoonery you've got here. We got a straight peacock baits. Yeah, we got a six month old pack of peacock baits <laughs> with a jig head with potentially eight pound line, probably 12. I don't know, who knows. There's been some big fish called out here. Before. Super cloudy, super windy, might as well go fish. <laughs> That'd have been nuts. I literally watched Cunningham and Patterson stand right here where we're standing and catch a five back to back. God, that would be nuts. Yeah. Big bass. Oh my god. No Let's big go. Bass, big bass. Let's go. Third cast. Big bass. Third cast. Oh god, you see me. <laughs> it's literally a five pounder. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Trey, you better flip. You better quit playing with his fish. Dude, I'm not. He's bumping me. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Dude, Look at that thing. On? Go on, Trey, get him. <laughs> What? I told what? you. I told you, Trey. <laughs> we literally just pulled up. I told you. Oh my god. What? <laughs> Look no how he way, ate it, dude. Look at that. Oh my oh, god. Wow. <laughs> Welcome That's... to South Florida, baby. <laughs> wow, that right there literally made the flight worth it. That's we sick. just got we off just the plane got 40 off minutes the plane. ago. <laughs> like fourth cast? <laughs> Dude, fourth cast, five pounder, dude, get out of here. It, the, the camera's been recording for a minute and 45 seconds, and welcome, you just called a five pounder. <laughs> welcome to South Florida, boys. Been here for a grand total of three and a half minutes, <laughs> and we've already got Big Bertha. No way. <laughs> yeah, I can't a even minute and 45 it, seconds into uh, this video. The truck is literally still running. It's still running. The doors are open. I don't even know what to think about that. That's crazy. No fish in here, boys. No <laughs> fish in here at all. Oh. Time to let this... Beautiful, healthy, largemouth. I mean, look how fat. Just a healthy, healthy fish. Time to let her go so she can grow. Catch you next time when she's hopefully 10 pounds. Yeah. Oh, she goes. Look at her. Oh, man. Shoulders. God, what a donk, bro. What a Let's donk. Let's go. Oh, boys. We unfortunately ran out of daylight the other day. We're back at it. Our plane landed at like 4.15. I caught a five-pounder by, what, 4.25? <laughs> I mean, we stupid. got out of the airport and like three casts later, I caught a five-pounder. It was dumb. But we're back again. Another day. Yep. A beautiful day for fishing, too. Bass fishing specific. Cloudy, windy. Yes. Literally perfect bassing conditions. 78 degrees down here in South Florida. They're biting. They're biting. We're going to make it bite. All right, over under. Are we going to catch one over five pounds again? I have fished here and have caught something close to five. I know they are in here. The conditions are literally borderline handing us a big I mean, fish. look at them clouds right there. That's perfect. Yeah, if there was a big fish day, this has got to be it. It's right? got to be. I mean, like the wind's literally rippling across the water. Perfect. Everything's perfect. Only thing we got to do is go catch them. got to catch them. Let's go get to it. Where's them crush cities? Right what you got there? Pop them bad Larry's open. Crush City from, who's that? Wheeler's new thing? Jacob Wheeler. Yeah, and Jacob Wheeler's a hammer. He's caught like four bass in his lifetime, I think. Yeah, at least. At least four bass. I like that color too, especially oh, on a day like today. Oh, yeah. I rock I that. Like I, it. All right, and I've got a gold trap right here. A combo that Trey put together. Well, that's going to be a match made in heaven. All right, first cast, baby. God, this thing rips. Got to make sure you rig this swim bait perfectly. You don't want it swimming sideways or funky, nothing like that. You want nice straight action. Oh, about like that. Only thing it's missing is a dab of super glue. Super glue? Yep. What's the super glue for? Keeps your bait on there longer when you catch all the fish. Okay. That's some tray stuff because I don't have that problem. I do not have that problem. I picked this side because the wind's blowing this way and it's generally the best area to target fish. The wind will kind of, it breaks up the surface clarity, dirties up the water. Some people say the bait fish move with the wind. I don't know if that's true or not, but I do know that the surface clarity breaks up and it makes them fish just a little bit dumber. I like catching the dumb fish. I don't know about you, but I just like catching them, you know? The less they can see your bait, the dumber they are. Let's see if we can make something happen. I like how the wind's blowing 
towards me too. You guys probably don't, you probably hear it on the GoPro. This right here is primo big fish conditions. Oh no, I just missed one, dude, no. Oh, that's tough. Oh boy, what do we got? Oh boy, we got one. Oh, it's a bass. Oh my God, no, we come off. Oh no, dude, what is going on? That was a big one. Oh no, dude. Oh, that's terrible. That literally hurts my feelings so bad. I was like a four or five pounder. He was huge. And you can go bite again, of course. Well, I'm done fishing this pond. We got some transition up here, right? So you got grass, then water, then grass. Fish love transition. Let's see if we can catch something slip. Cause I'm an island boy. Just kidding, don't judge me. More of an Ariana Grande fan myself. Got one, got one, baby, got one. Let's go, let's go. Oh, he came off. Golly, he was right there too. I knew, what I, what I, what I just tell you about transition? All right, boys, new spot. Let's see if we can catch one. Already seeing a lot of life in here. Watercolor looks good. The wind is nice, weather's nice. There should be some biting fish in here. Boom, baby. Large mouth, let's go. Good one. Let's go, come here, come here, come here. Yes. Ho, ho, ho. Let's go, nice healthy grass bass. On that new swim bait. That's pretty sick, he got it good. Look how dark and healthy that fish is. These fish are so awesome, I love them so much. Oh man, you gotta get out here when it's cloudy, the wind's blowing. Come out here, cover some water, and you go run into some. Thanks for biting, buddy. We'll catch you next time. Back to your home in the grass you go. He was literally in this little hole in the grass, just like that one I just lost. That one. Oh, it's a bass. Pretty crazy how a pattern can kind of stay the same through two completely different ponds five miles away from each other. I wonder if TJ's caught any yet. I think at the last spot he lost like a two, two and a half pounder on a trap. I don't, I don't know if he's caught any more yet or not. Oh, I got one. Let's go, baby. What we got? Oh, another largemouth. Come here, through the grass. Grass bass. Boom. Let's go. Little guy. Hey, buddy. Hey, how you doing? Right through the bottom of the lip. I don't know how that happened. Let's go. Nice little fish. I see my little white swim bait coming through the water. And next thing I know, my swim bait disappeared. He got it. So cool. Catch you next time. Gotta get wet feet, it looks like. Oh, this sucks. So bad. Made it. Let's go. I picked this white swim bait today because it's super cloudy and windy. I feel like whenever it's cloudy, that white just glows really good in the water and they can see it really well. I don't know though. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe that's just my brain thinking. Typically, whenever it's cloudy, I like to throw a white or a bone or something of that nature. Oh yeah, got one. Boom, baby. Oh, good one. Oh my goodness, he's jumping. Oh, boy. Oh, he's stuck in the grass. Let's go. Got him. Yeah. No way. Well, I might have just proved my point of why they like the white. I mean, he's got it good. Just like I said, super cloudy, throw white. You can catch these guys. Not a giant, looking for one over five pounds. But hey, you can never complain, especially whenever you're catching bass. This one's super pretty, super healthy. Man, you just can't beat it. Thanks for biting, buddy. Bring me your mama. See ya. Gone. These reeds are something else, boy. I'm telling you, they're tough. They will take your bait in a heartbeat. Here, fishy, 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 fishy. Where you at? Comment below, let me know, what's your favorite way to catch fish? Personally, I like catching fish literally on anything. I just love getting a bite and reeling them in. But I know everybody has their favorite. Is your favorite top water, throwing a jig? You like dragging a worm? Throwing a chatter bait, spinner bait. What do you like? Crank bait. Everybody's different. Everybody's got their own preferences. I'm just curious to know what your favorite technique is. Also, let me know what you caught your biggest fish doing. I'd love to know. Oh, God, an iguana just jumped out of the tree. Oh, 
that was sick. Oh, wow. No way. That was awesome. Like I said, that white on a cloudy day is crazy. Literally everyone I've caught has had that swim bait down their throat. That is when you know you're throwing the right things whenever it is down their throat. Literally down the hatch. This baby little swim bait gets so many bites. He literally exploded on it on top water. Back you go. Bring me your mama. Going forever. Let's call TJ and see if he's catching any. Go. Hello. You catch anything? I've caught four or five. I just skunked the first spot and I just changed to uh... I'm about to catch one off this yeah. pipe right here. <laughs> Alright, I'll hit this bridge and then see what's up after that. Alright. All right, boys, there's a pipe in the water right here. Let's see what lives on it. All right, I'm about to catch one right here. You ready? Here it comes. I'm gonna tell you when it's about to happen. Three, two, one. What? Come on, don't do me like that. You're making me look silly. Oh yeah. Got him. Woo! Come here, come here. No, 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 no. Quick release. There he goes. Told you I was gonna catch one. Uh-oh. I'm hunged. Little tip for you, whenever you're pond fishing and you break off or whatever and you don't have snips, find your piece of concrete. Rub your line up and down it. And eventually it'll break. Then you have a nice, perfect little knot tied. Little tips and trick. 90% of the time it works every time. I also lost my leader, so hopefully this braid don't scare him away. Hopefully we can still catch a few more. We will see. Oh, oh boy. Oh yeah, good one. I don't guess the braid matters. Good grief, biggest fish so far. <laughs> yes, sir, good healthy fish. Look how fat and healthy he is. Boy, that's a good one. They're smacking this white swim bait. Look at that belly, he's been eating good. You've been snacking. You bet the wrong minnow today though. Thanks for fighting, buddy. We're gonna get you back to you bass friends so you can go do bass things and whatever else you might do in a day. But you mobbed the wrong swim bait today. I appreciate you though. Thanks for making a bad decision. Peace. Did a little dancey dance for us. Back in the grass he goes. Oh, got another one. They're loaded right here, boy. Oh, oh no. There he goes. That right there is called the South Florida Quick Release. Oh, ruined it. Oh my goodness, dude, what? He literally smashed it right here. How does that happen? There's so many fish right here. All right, boys, I just pulled up to the next spot. The pond's over there, changed to the chatterbait, and they finna show out a little bit. If I can't catch no fish, they could do something cool for y'all. Big st <laughs> Dude, I would be falling over trying that. <laughs> Maybe this is more entertaining than my fishing skills because I clearly suck. Look at that. <laughs> that boy ain't getting it. That's uh, probably something that, oh, that was just not a fish. I used to fish this place all the time and we caught so many dang fish out of this. I don't know if that was a bass though. It might've been a... So, I mean, it's supposed to be a good day for fishing today, but was it? That might have thrown them off, being honestly. Oh boy, what do we got? Another bass. Ooh, baby. I was literally thinking in my head, I said, dang, that looks really good right there. I should get a bite. And literally about the time I finished that thought, my swim bait disappears, and that's on the other end of it. Thanks for biting. This pond right here has like a super healthy population of grass. There's lily pads right here, hydrilla. I think those might be reeds or bulrush. I'm not really sure what those are, but anytime there's grass, bass thrive. They love grass. Looks like maybe a mix of some eelgrass too, but there's a little hole in the grass right here, and that's where that fish just come from. Pretty predictable spot.
Boom, I watched him eat it. Oh, he come off. Oh, man. Dang it. You go eat it again. He said, no, no, no. No, sir. Not today. Bonk. Oh, oh, what do we got? What do we got? Oh, another two pounder. God, he smoked it. Absolutely throttled it. Scary bite, scary bite. I love how these fish in here are so dark. I mean, they're literally like, they're not even, these fish ain't even green. They're almost black. That's a sign of a super healthy fish. No doubt. So awesome. Time to get you back. I still need you to call your mama though. I need, I need your mama, your twin sister. I need you to bring me one like four or five pounds. You think you can do that for me? See ya. Oh man, this is so much fun. You can't beat it when you're catching them like this. It's really a blast. You got some nasty weather at your house. It's a little cloudy, a little windy. Take advantage of it. Go fishing. You never know what you might catch. Or a lot of times, those are your best fishing days. With the most and the biggest fish, they love to bite in nasty conditions. Got another one. He's coming up to jump. Oh, boy. Hoo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Oh, no. I'm sorry, buddy. Come back, come back. No, no, no. Come here. My boy, you bonked it. I still need you, big mama. See ya. They literally disappeared in this grass so fast. Like, you put them in and they are gone. Boom, baby, another bass. That right there is a sign whenever you know you're just flat out catching them and you're throwing the right bait because everyone that eats it has it down its gullet. I'm pretty impressed with this little swim bait so far. It's been chewed up. I hadn't had to readjust it on the hook or anything. It's literally got teeth marks all over it. Pretty cool. Nice little guy. Thanks for biting. We'll get you back. Oh no, he come off. Oh, that's tough. Tough, 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 tough. No, I lost him again. Oh no. I lost him two times in a row. This swim bait has almost had it and it's caught like 20 fish. Got him that time. Oh my gosh, he come off again. What? What? Oh, that's crazy. Guess it ain't meant to be. That is ridiculous. Will he eat it again? No way he eats it again, right? I didn't think so. Oh, oh, oh boy, what is that? Well, boys, I got a little something to show you. My GoPro died. Look what I got, dude. Let's go. That's like a six pounder. It literally don't even fit in the phone screen. Let me see. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Absolute unit. Let's go. Finally caught a big one. Wasn't catching nothing but two pounders. This, this one literally weighs like six. It's giant. Look at that belly. Huge. So awesome. All right, boys, it's time to let this big mama go. That's a definite, I mean, that's definitely a five, like all day five, maybe six. He's huge, absolute unit. And there she goes, back in the pond, happy and healthy. Oh man, that was awesome. That was literally so cool. My GoPro is dead, of course. Weed eater was blowing, all this and that. I've caught so many fish in this pond today, but they were literally all the same size, right around the two pound mark. And I was like, surely if I'm catching this many fish, surely I'll catch a big one, right? Well, we made it all the way down here to this corner. At the last spot, we finally made it happen. Of course my GoPro was dead, but that's okay. I got of it what I could. I'm so thankful for that fish. So awesome, so happy, so healthy. You just can't beat it. You gotta love an old grass bass. If you made it this far in the video, thank you for watching. It was an epic trip to South Florida as always. A lot more fishing content coming your way soon. Don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment if you enjoyed the video. Catch you next time. That's nice. You like that? Yeah. I know you do. Yeah, I like that. So does everybody watching. <laughs>